Good afternoon and salam, Ibu Pertiwiku. A suicide bomber killed 27 members of Iran's elite revolutionary guards on Wednesday in a southeastern region where security forces are facing a rise in attacks by militants from the country's Sunni Muslim minority. The semi-official Fars News Agency reported that the Sunni group Jais al-Ad Army of Justice which says it seeks greater rights and better living conditions for the ethnic minority Baluchis, claim responsibility for the attack. The heavy losses among Iran's premier military forces prompted a senior revolutionary guards commander to issue a warning to the country's foes. In the past, Iran has accused its regional rival, Sunni Arab Saudi Arabia, of supporting Sunni separatist groups who have attacked its security forces. Riyadh has denied the charges. Germany's arrest of a high-ranking Syrian suspected of crimes against humanity marks the first big success for a team of investigators who smuggled out a vast trove of incriminating evidence early in the war. German prosecutors said on Wednesday the man identified as Anwar R and one other Syrian citizen had been arrested on suspicion of crimes including torture of prisoners during their work for Syria's intelligence service. A third arrest was made in France. The investigation was supported by the Commission for International Justice and Accountability, CIJA, a team funded by the United States and several European governments, which has been quietly building cases for years. Its deputy director, Nerma Jalekik, said CIJA had provided documentary evidence and witness testimony against Anwar R. A Toronto woman who was filmed tossing a metal chair from a condominium balcony that went viral last week, secured bail for $1,509 US dollars following a court appearance on Wednesday. Toronto police said in a press release, Marcela Zoya, 19, was charged with endangering life, damage to property under $3,775 US dollars and common nuisance. Zoya must reside with her mother, not contact four individuals and not possess any weapons as defined by in the criminal code under the bail terms. She must also stay away from the condominium unit where the incident occurred. However, no injuries or deaths were reported from the incidents. And that is all for me. I'm Imesh Reni for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.